So tell me, how are you gonna build a business, a brand, and a profile in 2017? We're going into a whole new environment, and today we got part two with our wonderful digital expert, Melanie Hill. Welcome back, Melanie. Thank you, nice okay. to be here. So Melanie, you know, during the break, we were talking a little bit about the storytelling. Can you go into a little bit more depth? I was really intrigued a bit a little bit about what you're saying, storytelling, what does that mean? Yeah, so um, one of the things that uh, we're gonna see as a kind of evolution of how people use social media is gonna be less about them and more about their clientele. So yeah. when I work with clients, what we do is the first thing that we do, and you can all do this, is you can start to think about who your target audience is. So you work your patch, you know your farm area, yeah. you know um, these people, and you have the luxury, unlike a lot of businesses, that you get to interact and meet people every day. Everybody has a story. Yeah. And social media is all about you know socialising and sharing and having conversations. And people want that they'll resonate. So we hear the term resonate a lot. Yes. And basically what that means is people want to see in what you put out themselves. So you'll have vendors or potential sellers that are looking to you know, choose an agent and they'll be looking for somebody that really gets uh, the situation that they're in. And a lot of the time, you know, they're looking on to move on to the next stage of their life. They're not doing anything different to past clients have done. So what you need to do is draw on that experience, draw on those past scenarios and stories and start to talk more about your audience and your local community and the reasons why people move home um, from their perspective and less about you. So at the moment, yeah. everybody's jumped onto social media and some of the, you know, some people have built massive followings and they, you know, are promoting themselves, but it's a little bit, you know, me, me, me. me yes. and, and that's not a bad approach, but um, it really needs to be about, you know, 80% about your audience, yeah. uh, we've been with 20% about you and your success and achievements. Yeah, one of the things that I, you know, that I see is like a no-no for a lot of agents is, you know, they stand in front of the signboard and you look at their social media feed and their news feed is just full of them standing in front of a signboard with a vendor or a buyer shaking hands, but that's it. That's not yeah. storytelling, right? No, yeah. that, well that's, I mean, that's the end of the story, but well, where's the rest of the story? Well, and, exactly, yeah. yeah. And, and looking for ways to, to you know, to, to help it play out. Yep. So you're gonna see a few new players coming to the industry in the next year or two um, and they're really going to uh, change the dynamic and give you new tools on what you you know on you what you could use every day yeah. to help tell your story and every new um, property that you sell is you know there's a whole process behind that and there's a whole experience and that's what you need to showcase so yeah. step people use social media to step people, people through, through the storytelling process yeah. I love that concept so tell me um, also been hearing a lot about like the three E's in social media, you know, educate, elevate and entertain, you know, because um, that's the way you can try to control your themes and content. Yeah. Is that pretty much like, like as a simple rule of thumb for some agents like to say, okay, what am I going to post out today or this week if I thought of a theme and then maybe put these three E's around it. Yep. So something that could be educate could be talking about the market in their local market, what happened. Yep. Um, maybe something entertaining could be like, I don't know, uh, a guy holding a, a puppy dog at the open home. You know, we go out of our way for, you know, at open homes for a service. Um, maybe something like that, like a really funny photo. And, um, and and maybe Elevate could be maybe a great testimonial from a client that's just had a great experience yeah. from the agent saying how wonderful it was, you know, through the whole process of selling it. They made it so comfortable and, and not overwhelming for them that, you know, they, they speak about it. And I've seen some of the guys that do that really well have been the guys that, you know, don't talk to their client like you and I, if I was interviewing you, if you were my client, it was more about the clients just sharing the story to the camera. Yeah. And I thought that was really powerful. So do you reckon the three E's are something as, as a concept for new agents starting out to sort of put a bit of a base around what they're going to be doing? Yeah, I think that's a great way to look at it. And really, like I said last session, was fundamentally it's content. Yep. So, and you can plan and you can pre-plan and there's tools out there for you to schedule. So um, you need a strategy and that's part of the, um, you know, the content piece and yep. that's the education. So that ties into the education. So you've got all that knowledge in your head and you're meeting people every day. They're asking you a bunch of questions. Those questions probably don't change much between client to client. Mm. So that's what you want to harness. You want to answer their questions before they go and get the, those answers from the next guy. And if you can do that digitally and through social media, then we've gone back to that trust and built that trust. Fantastic. And then when you go to the, um, the Elevate, that's really, I kind of look at that as elevating your own brand. Okay. So collectively, 
wow. you're, you know, you're yeah. building that um, uh, experience of you and who you are and what yeah. you're going to be like to, to deal with. Yes. So it's all about, um, in the industry now, we, uh, a lot of agents are taking it very seriously to have their own brand presence and build their own um, personality online, which then leads you into, um, you know, the, you know, trying to entertain. Now, um, I think you tread the line carefully here because yes. it's, you know, it, it's very hard to be a comedian. Yeah, no, <laughs> um, I so agree. you can fall, some, yeah. fall flat. So I think um, take that as uh, being authentic. So yeah. entertaining is being yourself. Um, so yeah, if you have a funny moment, you definitely share it. Um, but uh, yeah, don't share your political views and things nah, like that. Totally not. <laughs> be aware of be aware of what you you know um, you know. We live we live in Australia. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we had a lot, and we had a lot of that in November during the Trump election and so yeah. forth. And you saw some agents going, okay, don't you know, don't talk about religion or politics. I always my dad exactly. said that. Don't ever talk around the dinner table. Okay. Mm. So finally, Mel, um, you know, just to wrap up this little session, and thank you for being part of, you know, set twenty seventeen on fire. One of the things you said, which is a great thing, is go and Google yourself. Yep. And I don't know if people have done that. I know I do it all the time. And you know, put in real estate coach or push in, you know, real estate agent in. I don't know if we're in Neutral Bay today, right? So put Neutral Bay and see what happens there. Yep. Um, but basically, just you know, around Googling yourself, what's the whole? Is that your digital footprint to see where you are and where you stand? Yeah, and you can, so um, you can get other people in your office to see what they discover about you because everybody types things in differently. Yes. And um, so, as you said, like the number one thing you need to do this year, this time of year, is look at your profile. What do you look like? How do you come across? Is that is that you? Do you need to yeah. like? So yeah. we offer services. Was that photo taken like ten years ago. <laughs> yes. It looks like nothing like you today. So it's all about polishing your profile. File, um, being less formal online, uh, talking in the first, yeah. you know, writing in the first um, person, which is, you know, me, I, my, we're giving a real feel for who you are. So yeah, as a baseline, make sure that you're polished up to date, you look your best, and then you can start layering that, those conversations. Perfect. Now, if you want to get serious about your digital social media, you need to hire someone who's an expert in this field. Someone is yourself, Melanie. We're going to pop in the details below of our newsletter today so they can get in contact and reach out to you. One thing, a question I'm just going to ask you. In the new environment of 2017, what are you doing in a business to grow it, to build a brand and to build a profile? Would you say that you agree with that? Yeah. Because that's the environment you're in today. Okay. So Melanie, thanks for joining us in our two-part series over the last couple of weeks and sharing your thoughts and ideas and strategies around social media. So if they want a digital media expert because you need it today, right, they can reach out to you and have your details underneath and get in contact with Melanie. Find out what is the way that you can stand out in this market in 2017. Because the question is, what will you do in this new environment to build your brand, build a profile and actually build a business?